Hey everyone, Kobaner Mining 4560 here recording another video. So yeah, today giving you another news update, and this news update is mostly about Sonic Generations and the Sonic series. So um, just got a news tip from uh, from one of my subscribers named um, Dante Game Reviews, and uh, he's given me news tips before about um, Sonic Generations, like the level list before we actually found out about the level list, and um, just about how Sonic Generations would have a special edition. And all of those actually turned out to be true. So he's getting this info from, he got this info from GameStop. And while GameStop isn't the most reliable source, they have said that this info is confirmed. And it actually seems like it's quite likely. So I'm not going to say this is confirmed story. Um, this is like confirmed story or, um, info or anything like that. But we're just going to keep it as a rumor. But it's very quite likely that this is true. So, um, turns out that uh, the Time Eater in the game, which we heard was supposed to be like the final boss at the end of the game, is actually a monster created by Eggman to let him go back to the past and let him get all his past creations to help him build Planet Egg. And that um, there's supposed to be also some stages about uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic 3 only. Not Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but Sonic 3 probably in the game too. So this is kind of interesting news. Now, um, about the Time Eater, the story, um, that actually seems quite accurate. So we still, like Sega hasn't said anything about it, but we do know from um, like getting into files and stuff like that on Sonic Generations demo that Time Eater is the final boss. So uh, yeah, I think this could actually be quite true, that the Time Eater is a creation from Eggman and that to send him back in time. and you know, since modern Sonic does go back in time and meets classic Sonic, so... You know, don't count this out, like... Um, this isn't confirmed, like I said, I'm just trying to make sure this so that people won't go around running around with this saying, Oh my gosh, I got confirmed news! And that... When it d probably, like, if it isn't confirmed news or anything, like, if it isn't confirmed... Um, I don't want people coming back to me like, You said this and all that, so... Not confirmed, but very likely, so... Uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this game. Um, don't really have too much about the story, but it is. Um, we did find out that the story was is written by the same people who did Sonic Colors, or the same people who wrote the story for Mad World, the very bloody, gory, um, very M-rated game for the Wii. So, also we have some news uh, from Takashi Izuka giving some info about um, how classic Sonic fans are very hard to please, and that. Right now, they're currently working on Sonic 4 Episode 2 and trying to just, uh... Well, actually, here's what he says um, in the UK's official Nintendo magazine. Our team are always trying to present new gameplay innovations, so it's hard to please fans who like the gameplay from the older games. However, we have included the older gameplay as part of Sonic's 20th anniversary, so we think the fans of the older games will enjoy it well. And he's also said before that classic fans, it's that it's very hard, near impossible, actually, to please everyone. So, um, right now, they're looking into later episodes of Sonic 4, which is a franchise to appeal to those old fans, but was sadly bashed by fans because of the physics. And, um, but it actually got pretty good reviews from reviewers, so. Anyway, yeah, well, that's one thing I've always liked about the Sonic series. I mean, even though all their ideas haven't been great, and some of them their execution hasn't um, always been great with the games. I always have liked how they try to come up with different ideas. They don't try to s stick to the same thing all the time. I mean, that's what you see a lot in Nintendo's franchises. They're kind of the same. Kind of shy away from a few things in the past, but not really um, completely new or anything like that, except for some games, I will say, and some new franchises. But that's what I've liked about Sonic Team, but I mean, sadly, when Sega has done that, they've lost their footing and almost forgotten what the blue blur is all about. So, but anyway, they're back to what they're, um, back to the basics anyway, so that's pretty cool. Also, I uh, have some, speaking of Sonic 4 and their physics, have some news about um, Sonic 4, like physics, discovered in Generations. Um, with actually accidentally so this was a video from first Kirby ever and I have a picture right here so uh, yeah it turns out that classic Sonic is standing on the wall defying the laws of physics just like Sonic 4 like modern Sonic in Sonic 4 which is quite surprising because this game is supposed to be quite different from 
Sonic 4 with the physics and these um, the physics in this game are supposed to be closer to the classic Sonic games back in the 90s. But you know something, I think people are making too much of a big deal. I mean, that's really hard to do. And I mean, who really is going to just slow down there and just stand there on a wall? I mean, there's no point in that. The same reason why I've said Sonic 4 doesn't really deserve all the criticism it's getting. I mean, people are actually looking for these glitches and that's why they're so, like, they're not pleased. I mean, it's all these fanboys who just complain too much, which is one reason why I do not call myself a fanboy, because they're just like a disgrace, almost. And I'm not saying all fanboys, but the whiny fanboys who just want to um, complain and whine and, um, you know, just act like a total douchebag. So anyway, uh, yeah, don't make a big deal about it. It's just... It's just a glitch that they found, so I mean, that first Kirby ever found. So it's no big deal. Don't make a big, um, like, a, make a big deal about it, but, you know, that is, still isn't pretty good, though. I kind of don't like that, but, you know, I'm not going to complain, because, you know, I'm not just going to slow down in the Sonic game and stand on the wall like, ho, 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 blur, blur, blur. No, I'm, I'm going to be in a Sonic game to run or jump around, so it's not like I'm going to really run into this problem anyway. So, and the physics in Sonic Generations are a lot better than Sonic 4, I will say. And a lot closer to classic Sonics and um, the old Sonic games. So anyway, yeah, that is basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. Kabana Mining 456, signing out. Peace, everyone. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more previous vids, more previous updates. So yeah, uh, anyway, see ya. Have a good day.